Okay. You got Revelation. Okay. This is a uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Flatten the curve, man. Make everybody equal. Okay? And that money that you got, you're gonna have to start over because when the chip come, okay, you're gonna have to start over when the chip come because that money that that Federal Reserve note that you got gonna be worthless. That's why everybody is getting into cryptocurrency or gold because the, the insiders know that that Federal Reserve note is about to be over with. So you nigga Latinos and Native Americans got money stacked up under your mattress or in your closet, okay? I think, I think you, uh, you middle class, the, guess what? Yeah, the, or Native. to think you on a level. <laughs> to think you on a level because you got, you know what I'm saying, you just right. stacked up doing wickedness. You know, you're going to fall short, man. And when that money don't have no more value, man, you're going to be back at the bottom. You're going to be back at the bottom, man. Go ahead, bro. Or in their foreheads. Or in their foreheads, in their right hand or in their forehead, man. Okay? That's the end game. That's the completion of the New World Order. But they not gonna they not gonna complete it because a lot of people gonna get chipped because of our temptation when you chop it. But they not gonna complete it to where they gonna get the elect of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Because the Heavenly Father and Son gonna throw a monkey wrench in. Go ahead, bro. It's uh, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. The new digital currency, man. Right. The new digital currency was the RFID chip, man. And when you look up that word mark, it goes into karagma, man. Okay? Which it mentions a stake in there. And like I always mention, man, when you look, when John the, on the island of Patmos, on the island of Patmos, he didn't understand what that war needle was. He didn't understand about no war needle. So what he did was he explained it to where we can understand it, meaning he mentioned the stake in the best way he could understand it. Okay? Because that's what that looked like, a stake, a piece of wood, like a like a like a large piece of uh like a large toothpick. Okay? That what that, that's what a stake looked like, a large toothpick. But when you get this, when you get this board needle, and look at this board needle, and look at a, a toothpick or a large stake, you look at that, you say, man, that's what he seen, man. And what was coming out of that uh, board needle is that microchip, man. Because that's gonna be the new currency, man. And he seen everybody taking that, man. Okay, he see everybody taking that, man. Rich, small, free, poor. Okay, in the captivity in the Roman Empire, man, that came back into power, man. So he seen that. That's why when you read Revelation, the 13th chapter, it mentioned in there, which we in right now, he that leading the captivity shall go into captivity. Because that's another way to brand you as a slave, man. Become their property. Become their property, man. They're like you brand cattle, man. I know, uh, like I said, uh, my father, you know what I'm saying, he used to work uh, laying uh, his, uh, concrete. Yeah. And he would use stakes. Yeah. And the way he would cut them and the way he would make them, they looked just like that needle. Yeah, you know that boar needle. Yeah, he would, he would shape them just like it and stick them on the ground. And then people that actually own properties, too, that's the same type of stake that they use to mark their property. Right. You know, it belongs to them. They put a sign on it. Right. And they don't use no... No boy needle to put a Sims card in a, in a in a cell phone. You idiots out there, you know. But that's all I the water for <laughs> holding that up for me, bro. Okay. Continue on. It says, uh, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Yeah, the name of the beast, man. Okay. The beast, the beast is dealing with NATO and the EU. Okay? Which that's all going to bust up. Okay? And the EU is the economics behind uh, the beach. But the EU going to end up busting up, man. 
But go ahead, bro. That's the beast. Don't worry about him. He ain't nothing. So, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of man. Who what man? Esau. Okay? The so-called white man, because that's the one got the power to bring forth this system, man. The banking elites, man. So that's what's taking place, man. Go ahead. And his number is 603 score and six. So when you go to that universal product code, he got uh he got two lines, and then he got four lines in the middle, then he got another two lines. So that represents 666 right there, that universal product code. You got two lines right there, you got four right there, and you got two right there. So that's two, four, six. That represents 666, and that goes back to that universal product code, man. Okay? And that's all the information of you and your financing and your banking. Everything is going to be on that chip, man. That's the new system, man. Okay? Go ahead, bro. Is that the end of it? Go to uh, Revelation 14 and 9. This is our Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image. Now, when you deal with that word worship, okay, when you go into it, it's like you're depending on this system like a dog for them to feed you and take care of you, okay? Instead of Yahweh Bashimah Washai. So you're paying homage to Satan on the left hand side because that's who. Uh, Esau deals with, okay? He's the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth. He's the adversary against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So you paying homage to him, man, and saying you a vessel of, of you, you saying you his vessel, okay? When you worship. Go ahead. It says, uh, if any man worship the beast and his image. The image is the system, okay? That's what the image deal with. It deals with the system. Of the beast, okay, which goes back to the Roman Empire. Go ahead and receive his mark in his forehead. That's the RFID chip. Go ahead or in his hand. Go ahead. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So you're gonna feel the full wrath of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And it ain't gonna be diluted, man. Okay. It's going to be hot as the sun, plus he's going to pour more fire on it, mm. on top of that. And when he do that, that's the anger of the Heavenly Father and His Son for not acknowledging. That's the anger of the Heavenly Father and His Son for you Negro Latinos and Native Americans not acknowledging the covenant and being faithful to him. When this place is hot as the sun and he pour more fire on it, man. Okay? And that is considered the lake of fire, man. Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brim brimstone. See that? Go ahead. In the presence of the holy angels. So what it is is the elect, Lord willing, we don't mend it and do it to the end, get beamed up out of this place, and we're going to be looking down on America burning. And that what John seen on the island of Patmos that America was on fire, and that represent the lake of fire, man. Okay? By them nukes hitting this place, man. 200 million missiles supposed to hit this place, man. 200 million, man. Okay? And it's gonna cause earthquakes and tsunamis, man. Okay? Go ahead, bro. And in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah. So Yahweh Shai is going to be a witness of this place burning with the elect, man, and the angels, man. Okay? That's what it's going to be, man. And, and the heat of World War III is here from you people, man. Okay? The buildup of it is here from you people because all you see on there is the coronavirus. Okay? So go back to Micah. That was it on there? Okay, go back to Micah. 
This is uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. They order it to squeeze you people, man. To press you people, man. Okay? To be done, man. So it's the elite on the left-hand side call that shot, man. Okay? And like I said, we hope it don't come back, man. We hope America don't go back to where it was, man. They, we hope they keep squeezing this place, man. Nothing, nothing wickedness. There's nothing but wickedness going on anyway. Anyway, number wickedness, man. Okay? Number wickedness, man. Go ahead, bro. Because it is in the power of their hand. It is in the power of their hand, man. They got the power to shut this place down, man. And so-called white man done it, man. Esau Edom done it, man, because we in his kingdom, man. We behind enemy lines, man. He done it. On the left-hand side, Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah allowed him to do it, man. Matter of fact, get it. Job 9.24. This is Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's the wicked? The so-called white man. All you got to do is read Malachi the first chapter and then mention Esau there. And wherever they go, they know as the border of wickedness. And then you people steady trying to build. When you read Malachi, you people steady trying to build. And the, and the most I said, he going to throw down. That's why you got earthquakes everywhere, man. Okay? He going to completely throw it down with them nukes. But that's how you got, that's why you have earthquakes and tsunamis. And you and you people in tornadoes. You see people steady trying to be, like you had a tornado in Jonesboro. Okay? Down here in Arkansas, Jonesboro is like north. North from us. And you had, and you had a, uh, and you had a tornado rip all that stuff up. You think they ain't gonna try to build back up? Yeah. The most I said he's gonna throw down. And you got a few jakes over there that stay in Jonesboro. But I heard that the mall got towed up too. Up there. No more Jordans. No more Jordans. <laughs> and then down here, the mall is closed, but you got Dillard's still open. Okay? You got the, the store, the Dillard's still open down here, man. One store in the mall, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Said so it reminds me of uh, I'm from uh, I'm from the mid.